everyone, let's take a few minutes to go over exactly how this works and why it looks like it does. Some people have commented that the characters cast at the same time, which they don't. It seems people don't take spell casting times into consideration and just goes by how things look. Let's have an example with a cast time difference. Max rank Fireball has a 3.5 second cast time. Max rank Pyroblast has a 6 second cast time. That's a 2.5 second difference. Here's how it looks if I try to press it as fast as possible. As you can see, it would be fired and land on the mob at different times. The third character was still channeling Pyroblast when the second character had already got the fireball in. Let's wait a bit in between the casts and you can see that it would look like back in the day when one key press went to all the windows. Taking into consideration that I also have to check threat and taunt mobs while manually switching windows in the taskbar, sometimes spells are fired differently, also depending on which spell is next in the car sequence macro. So what about the sheeps? Gotta have sheeps, right? In Burning Crusade, Blizzard added the focus feature which means you can set a target as focus. In the sheep macro, you can put it to only sheep the target you set as focus, without changing the target. Let's see how easy that is. Attacking one mob while keeping the others sheeped, without target switching. Setting mage 1's focus. Setting mage 2's focus. Right, so let's go through the actual key presses and the macros. So up here you can see me manually switching between the windows to be able to cast spells and such. On the tank, F1 to F6 is the same macro, basically just applying consecration on the ground. On the first mage, button F1 to F6 is the same macro a cast sequence macro with reset on target switch that casts pyroblast and then eight fireballs and reset. On the second mage, button F1 to F6 is the same macro, a cast sequence with a fireball, then a pyroblast, and then seven fireballs and reset. On the warlock, button F1 to F6 is, surprise surprise, the same macro. Curse of the Elements, Corruption, Emulate, and then alternating between Incinerate and Shadow Bolt until reset. On Druid, F1 is healing the tank. F2 is healing the first mage. F3 is healing the second mage. F4 is healing the warlock. F5 is healing itself. And F6 is healing the warlock pet. Now, here's the interesting part. Instead of keeping track of which key to press in which window while manually switching, I only have to keep track of which character needs healing. Basically, I can just cycle through the windows manually and press any of the F1 to F6 keys. The druid will heal the right character and the tank will do consecration. This is a lot easier than having to keep track of which key to press in which window all the time. Also, this makes spellcasting a lot faster. 
since you have to think less and only keep track of which chars will need healing. And that's it. Start with an Avengers Shield pull. Do a consecration and then start the F1 to F6 cycle, which is most often only F1 since the tank is the one that needs the most healing. Let's see it in action here for a bit. And that's how easy it is. No multi-box program, no hardware, no nothing. Only manually pressing in the taskbar. And it's still really easy. All you need is patience, discipline and determination.